February 1, Ski Accident A cheerful heart is a good medicine, but a downcast spirit dries up the bells. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22 During the winter, my husband Larry and I skied almost every day. We strapped on our cross-country skis and puffed up the slopes that border the lake behind our house. We raced down through the trees and sped across the frozen lake. Occasionally, on weekends, we'd head to the mountains for more beautiful scenery and more challenging topography. One Sunday morning, we decided to explore a new trail. Friends would drop us off at the trailhead and we'd ski ever downward to the town of Bonf where we'd find our car. We skid in blaze of sunshine and then traverse areas of shadows beneath evergreen trees. Ever watchful for patches of ice in this late winter day. And then I slipped. My poles flailing. My skis skidding out of the track. I landed on my face with my sunglasses pushing into my forehead. When dead, I lay for a few moments in the trail. A headache but no broken bones. I wasn't in bad shape. The next few kilometers would be uncomfortable, but certainly possible. Your forehead's bleeding, announced Larry. He pulled off his reflective sunglasses and handed them to me to serve as a mirror. My forehead was cut in two places right above my eyebrows. Where's the first aid kit? We need to get you bandaged up and into the emergency room. I think you'll need stitches. He put two band-aids on my forehead and we headed along the trail, skiing more slowly and carefully. I waited several hours at the Mineral Springs Hospital, feeling rather grouchy. Not only had our beautiful morning been mared, but lunch was delayed, and my head hurt. I felt gloomier and gloomier as the afternoon progressed. I started analyzing the injuries of those around me. With three downhill ski resorts nearby, I was the only one who wasn't in pain because of a broken wrist, arm, or leg. Still, the observation did nothing to lift my spirit. I sat morosely and felt sorry for myself. When I was called in, the doctor removed the band-aids. Suddenly, life was much better. I felt almost happy. Yes, the doctor decided that stitches were unnecessary. But my mood shifted primarily because my eyebrows weren't held down. My face wasn't fixed in a perpetual gloomy expression. I could smile. I realized that a cheerful heart and face are both good medicine. Denise Decker <laughs>